Ever wonder what exactly is driving me to post a picture of my brunch? It's kind of sad, literally. I'm Shannon O'Dell, at Shodell, and I'm a neuroscience PhD candidate, and this is your brain on social media. As of the end of 2017, Facebook has 2.2 billion users. Users report that they're on Facebook for two reasons, to connect with people and to manage and control the impression they make on others. Evolution favors people who like belonging to a group because it comes with a variety of survival advantages, including obtaining food, finding a mate, and increased safety. Our brains are rich in regions associated with social processing and reward. These areas include the ventral medial prefrontal cortex, the ventral striatum, and the ventral tegmental area. People also use Facebook to control and measure their own self-image. Users get feedback to each other using the coveted like, which catapults us to another hot topic in social neuroscience. The like is thought to be directly linked to the social reward pathway. Everything from the color of the notification to the placement of the counter has been selected by Facebook engineers to have maximum impact on the reward centers of the brain. Whoa, am I addicted to Facebook? One study found that when presented with Facebook-related images, subjects showed increased activation of the amygdala and the striatum two areas heavily associated with addiction. Luckily, it found Facebook addiction-like behavior had no association with lowered prefrontal activity or lowered inhibition pathway, which is a central hallmark of substance-related addictions. So should I leave Facebook? A recent study found that after deactivating Facebook for five days, subjects showed decreased cortisol levels, suggesting that leaving Facebook for just under a week is enough to lower your daily stress level. Further, Facebook may aid in school learning, as some studies have found that students who use Facebook to interact with the course material and classmates reported higher grades on tests and better overall performance in class. And I'll drink to that, right? Mm. Ugh, yeah, that still sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I love when it's cold. Ever wonder what exactly is driving me to post a picture of my brunch? One study reported that an increase in sharing photographs and videos on Instagram is correlated to feelings of loneliness. It seems counterintuitive, but it appears that introverts are more likely to post. Another study found that feelings of confidence and extroversion were linked to an increased likelihood of liking and commenting on others' photos. An fMRI study in teens showed that a group was much more likely to think a photo was good if it had more likes, regardless of the content. The exact same photo, edited to show fewer likes, was consistently rated to be worse. The same fMRI study found that when viewing a photo with more likes, subjects showed increased activation in the visual cortex, suggesting that we actually pay closer attention to photos with more likes. When subjects viewed their own photos, reward pathway activation increased when photos were accompanied with high amounts of likes. So please, for my brain's sake, would you like this photo? Hey, can you like my photo? At Shodell. It's a brunch, it's the one with the bananas. Can you like it? Twitter is a microblogging platform, but do users actually believe all the information they get off of Twitter? One study found that users were less likely to be swayed by false information when it was given in a Twitter-like format, which in this world is a very good thing. Scientists have shown that there is a neural pathway underlying the successful spread of ideas, aka the science of the retweet. One lab found that more successful or viral ideas are associated with increased activation in a brain region known as the temporoparietal junction, or TPJ. The TPJ is thought to be important in the process of mentalizing, or when you think about how others think and feel. So this study suggests that creating retweetable tweets has less to do with how many think pieces you read on the topic and more about how you understand how others think and feel. So I guess from now on, I'll be tweeting with you guys in mind. What do you guys like? Tamagotchis? Soup? Diaries? Jumanji? Explosions. Ugh, that's bad. Skittles? 